Modal collapse. I see. But it used to be called modal collapse, and people just started, they changed the word and started calling it modal collapse. But anyway, um, yeah. So, so we could see that be a problem in the years to come of AIs not being able to train correctly because they're training on their own output. Yeah, totally. Uh, and you mentioned uh, you are researching with, you know, ChatGPT uh, all three, uh, and so you are writing many topics and covering many topics. What is your like source of information usually? So what kind of oh, many. article that you can list up some? So, um, news articles, uh, blog posts, especially now on Substack, um, papers, economics papers, a lot of them, sometimes other papers, but mostly in economics because those are the ones I understand. Um, sometimes Twitter, although it's getting much worse, so now I don't use it much. Um, and then, and then private research reports from like McKinsey or something. How much do you spend for researching or reading usually a day? Oh, it really depends. You know, I am um, it only occasionally will I do a lot of research for a post that I'm writing. Usually I read stuff because it's interesting and then I write about it later when it's important. And so it's very difficult to tell my leisure research from my work research. Mm -hmm.